Hello, my name is Megan and I am a PhD student in the Department of Materials Science and Engineering and today I will be solving a question from the Summer 2012 final exam for MSc 101. Uh, it's question number eight and the question reads, sketch and label the microstructure of a generalized hypoeutectoid steel alloy. So you could memorize all the different potential microstructures you could be asked about, but if you do that, you run the risk of mislabeling something, forgetting a word, or just drawing a complete blank. If you work through it systematically, you'll get, the right, you'll get to the right answer every time. So first of all, if we're going to sketch, sketch the microstructure, we're going to start with a circle. And the microstructure will be drawn in here. Now we want to look at the question for keywords. So the first key word here is steel. That tells us we're dealing with the iron carbon phase diagram. And we can sketch that out to help us make sure we get the right structure. So this is all we need, just a general small little sketch to help us remember where all the phases are. So we have austenite, um, austenite plus ferrite, ferrite, austenite plus cementite, and ferrite plus cementite. Um, so the next key word in the statement, in the question, is hypoeutectoid. So we know that this is the eutectoid point. So if we draw a line through here, we know that on either side of this line, we are either hyper or hypoeutectoid. So on the right hand side to higher carbon content, it is hyper eutectoid, and to the left, lower carbon content, it is hypo eutectoid. Okay, so now we know where we are. We're on this side, lower carbon content of the eutectoid structure. So we can start to sketch. So if we start from a higher, um, if we start at a higher temperature, we are in the purely austenite phase. So here we have just briefly austenite. If we now look at, as we cool, we start, we enter the austenite plus ferrite two phase region. And when this happens, ferrite starts to form along the phase boundaries. So here we have pro-eutectoid ferrite. So this is the ferrite that has been formed, formed above the eutectoid temperature. So it is pro-eutectoid. Now as we cool below the eutectoid temperature, all of the remaining austenite will transform into ferrite and cementite. So this is gone. And what we're left with is this alternating layer structure. Um, so now this layered structure overall is called perlite. So we label that as perlite, and then inside the perlite, we have alternating phases of ferrite and cementite. So here's our cementite, and now the ferrite here has formed at the eutectoid composition, and so this is eutectoid ferrite. And so our final structure has pro-eutectoid ferrite, and then in between the pro-eutectoid ferrite, we have alternating layers of eutectoid ferrite and cementite that forms perlite. And this is the generalized structure for the pro-eutectoid, uh, hypo-eutectoid steel. 